Good morning. Okay, so coffee in hand, quick share. Had a phone call um, from a person who actually has a family member who is a client of mine. And the question was, um, the, the child, um, who I believe is under 18, um, has come down with a serious medical problem. And she wanted to know if he, she's been told by well-meaning people um, that he should apply for disability. So I haven't called her back yet, but I have to. And it will be regarding the fact that I already know what their financial situation is to the extent I need to, um, to answer this question because of the other case. Um, the child is not eligible for social security disability because he's a minor. You have to be 18 to 65-ish. Um, and he would not be eligible for SSI. Now this is assuming that the impairment, which is serious, would, be, would, would meet the definition of disabled for a child. I'm not sure that's the case. Um, as serious and interfering as it may be, um, it may also not meet the 12 month duration because it's a kind of condition that might stick with him a long time but there are treatments. And for some people, the treatments work well enough to keep them functioning relatively um, relatively well, where they can go out and about in the real world, work or engage in a child's life. Uh, with obviously um, treatment and taking care of business while doing so. So those two things aside, SSI would be the only option for a child since there's, there is no social security disability based on a child's disability. But SSI, as y'all probably know from the other videos, requires a level of poorness, my word, not theirs. Um, and for children, they are dependents of their parents by and large, um, whether or not their parents are doing a good job or not. But the point is, they're, the income and resources of a parent or parents is deemed in certain ways to the child because the parent is responsible, if he can afford it, to support that child. So because these parents are nowhere near indigent, um, even the, the person that is filing for SSD would not be able to get SSI either for himself, um, the child isn't going to be able to get disability as a child. Now, once he's 18, the parent parental income and resources is not deemed to the child. So it would only be things that are in his name. So that's something, by the way, parents can prepare for if they're in this dilemma. Once a child is no longer a legal child, he's 18, um, it's his own resources and his own income that counts. So they can prepare quite a bit now to, if it turns out he does not recover and it gets worse and it's very um, overly limiting, the preparation done now can make for a successful case later um, and or a much easier successful case later because you have all this stuff done, um, including certain treatments, treatments, retaining evidence, medical records, don't get rid of them. Um, so keep that in mind, SSI for children that are disabled with poor parents and poor selves. And SSD is only for those over 18 because it, re it relies on their working record, okay? So any questions, you know where to reach me. Thanks for clicking and learning, bye-bye.